It was homecoming week, and we were playing our biggest rival. It was a rivalry that went back literally decades. And most alumni will know exactly which school I'm talking about when I say that the students from the rival school would sneak onto MBA's campus and paint the historic cannons in their school colors. Well, <laughs> one particular color. One morning of my freshman year during the week before the big game, I got to school and found a group of students gathered around the historic cannons on campus. I got to the front and saw that they were not the usual black, but rather a full, dark, ugly shade of deep, well, you know what color they were. Little did we know or even realize that the then head of grounds, the legendary Laird Smith, was already busy at work unpacking the mystery of who done it. He also found one piece of perfectly incriminating evidence. Fast forward 48 hours to Thursday morning and we're dumbfounded by what we saw. We wanted to direct a few fairly choice words at the two scrawny dudes, but Coach R told us to just let them do their work. So we watched and circled and judged. But how in the world did Laird Smith figure out who had done it? It seems the vandals had left a plastic bag behind with a piece of paper inside it. A receipt for the paint and the brushes they bought. And on this itemized receipt was the name and location of the hardware store where they had purchased their weapons of mass destruction. Laird Smith took the evidence to the rival school and told their principal what had happened the night before and asked for a copy of their most recent yearbook. Laird took the receipt, the yearbook, and the principal to the hardware store listed on the receipt. The salesman at the paint counter was able to easily identify the students who had purchased the specially mixed paint. So he strikes a deal with their principal. He said, the two students will buy black paint and repaint the cannons, and they have to do it during school hours when MBA students are around. But how exactly does this story tie into the annual fund? Well, Barry, I'm glad you asked. Let's think about the important themes of this story. First, we have a rival. MBA is unmatched in the entire state of Tennessee and even nationally when it comes to alumni participation. Our alumni giving rivals are national, not local, and we compete at the highest level every year. With a stated goal of 50% alumni participation, we are calling on all alumni to give. Whether you have given in the past, missed in past years, or never given at all, this is a great time to give. Second, we all get busy with life and with careers, but giving to the annual fund literally takes 30 seconds to go online and pledge. Third, well, I don't have a third point, but you get the idea. Well, what about the football game? The football game? Well, of course we won the football game. We, we don't lose to those guys. 